Well, hey everyone. Good morning to you. This here is Toronto Collector heading out on a pop hunt and welcome to Saturday the 11th of December 2021 and I just missed my uh, bus just now or one of the buses I take here as you can see here I'm walking in my area here past my station here and I'm going to be going over that bus stop over there and I'm going to be doing pop hunt and with any luck I might even be actually be able to, be able to film inside the store so stay tuned Okay, I'm back here at my store here again. Can do a quick scan here. I have never never heard of this one before. Batman the Damned, the Drowned. Never heard of that one before. And I'm actually able to get actually some sodas. So this is a great store shop at. They have a lot of selection here today. So you'll see what I get soon. Well, hey everyone, Tron the Collector back with you again. Just having my break here outside of the uh, awesome East End Mall where I always shop. And once again, I was successful in doing my usual pop hunt at the best store in East End Toronto to shop at. So if you're ever in Toronto and you're in the East End, up by the Scarborough Town Centre, located at Highway 401 on McCallum Road, you can Google it when you're here. Look for the HT store and the Scarborough Town Center. They are the flagship store for the city. And they get the stuff in first. Awesome store, awesome staff. And they were very flattered to hear that um, I gave my shout out last Sunday on my channel. They're very flattered to hear that. And I did a bit of filming. They were kind of busy in there, but they always get new stuff first. And then the other store gets it after that because they are the flagship store for Toronto. And I'm here enjoying a course my beverage on the road couldn't get any more canadian than this right couldn't get any more canadian than that so i'll be heading to a next store next so stay tuned hey folks trying to flutter back with you again and well i got a little surprise here at the mall here we're actually able to actually sit sit in the mall here they've actually put the benches back in the mall and they haven't had benches in the mall here for a long, long time. So they're actually allowing customers to sit on benches back inside the mall here again. Because they took the benches out a long time ago uh, when they didn't want sh shoppers to gather in the mall. They wanted just us to come in, just to come in, shop and leave. Not sit on the benches and basically hang out or whatever else. But I'm happy to report though. That, um, that they finally put the, some benches back inside the mall. They probably had to clean them up and dust them off and everything. So that proves that, um, that we must be doing better as far, as far as 19 coverage goes here. And right now I'm sitting here finishing off my coffee right here. As I, showed you, I just told you previously, finishing it off. Debating as to whether or not to pick up, up another pop here that would might very well just be another first look from another store that uh, from a movie that I haven't even seen yet but it's in the theaters now and I think it's still doing very well and it's uh, also from a line of, um, of it's also from a line of uh, a, a movie a, a line of characters from a movie that's in the theaters now I believe it is and it could very well be a first look pop there so what do you think should I pick it up or not? Pick it up or not for tomorrow for tomorrow's video. Actually, well, for the video later on, because by the time I edit this together, it will be it will be tomorrow. So, stay tuned. Thanks me and welcome back to our studio everyone here. I am Rob aka Toronto Collector coming to you as always from, a, from our beautiful studio in t beautiful Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Your number one YouTuber in Toronto if I'm not hopefully soon. I hope you enjoyed that three part little, seri uh, little clip there I did on my phone there lead into today's video. This is our regular Sunday video we do this every single Sunday without fail 
Our videos are, are always family friendly, so hello out there to all of our wonderful subscribers around the world. Hopefully you're having a great day and a great weekend. Hopefully you're staying safe if the weather is good where you are there. Hopefully you will enjoy watching this video there as well. If you uh, are not sure if you're subscribed or not, check, check down below and tell my right there to see the subscribe button there. If it is red, you're not subscribed, please, if you want to join this video there, just click the subscribe button there, turn it from red to clear, and the right beside it is the bell icon there. Click the bell icon there, it's like all, so it looks like the bell icon is ringing there. And be sure to give us a big old thumbs up. Those alone, subscribing, bell icon, thumbs up there, especially a thumbs up, helps out in our YouTube algorithms, which is a technical aspect of having a channel right there. The more people give us a thumbs up there, helps these videos get out to more and more people there, so more and more people can enjoy this wonderful content you're enjoying there right now. And if you feel so kind to be out by all means, be sure to comment there down below. As uh, we do this videos every single Sunday, we are always family friendly here, so if you haven't seen any of our other videos, shame on you, what are you doing? When you finish watching this video, by all means, before you leave, go to another channel there, check out some of our other family-friendly videos here. We've been doing videos on for a long time, for over two years. We have lots of videos here down below on our channel there. And we do have a celebration currently coming up there for to celebrate our 300 subscriber giveaway. And believe me, we're still working on the detail, details of that. I haven't yet decided whether I'm going to be buying one figure as a top prize giveaway or more. So you want to stay tuned for that one. How you enter the giveaway is you have to be a subscriber to the channel and hopefully your subscription is not blocked or set to private there so I can check make sure that you are. Two, you have to have Instagram please because I will be asking a question during the third subscriber giveaway and you will be DMing me what you think the answer is on Instagram and then if your answer is right, you'll go in there for the random comment generator there to win the top prize. And even if you don't win the top prize, you will get something for contributing and participating in the upcoming giveaway. Everyone who does by putting hashtag on the giveaway, this is not the giveaway yet. But if you put down below in the giveaway video, the hashtag what you think the answer is there, or hashtag I know what you think the answer is, you will win something from us. Details to follow. Details to follow there. I just have to still work out a few details here and there, but continue watch us please and enjoy our videos there. Give me a thumbs up, give a comment there down below. And if you so, feel so inclined to, we also have a patron program going on right now, a free level patron program there to help us run the channel financially there. So if you want to become a patron of our channel there, awesome. We have a three level patron program there, tourist, vacationer, and neighbor and the link for that is down below in the description of this video so now without further ado here you saw on the clip there how i got, picked up a few things there if you follow me on ig under toronto dog collector you saw that i i inserted the three teaser picks there of what i was going to be unveiling there today so let, without further ado let's get right to it here i did my shopping hot topic there yesterday as you saw in the video and we got we see something in the mail which I'm holding off on unveiling there until I talk to Maria about something that may she, she may pre-order there. And also I did pick up that first look pop. Say with me, say with me folks. <sighs> say with me one two or or one two three. <sighs> I did pick it up there. So this is the first look pop right here. I haven't seen anybody on YouTube on Bill's pop here yet. So, without further ado, I did start a line of pops before, which I did actually do a video review of it uh, last Sunday there, and unbeknownst to me, they released two more pops of the same line here, so that's what I'm going to be unveiling here for today. If you want to see a review of these, up, of these two pops I'm going to show you, please, down below in the comments on this video there, do comment there down below let me know. So, okay, so the first one I'm going to show you here is coming in at number 937. This is more of the Gingerbread Man as line of pops. Coming in at number 937, this is Gingerbread Man as Black Panther. Which is an awesome looking pop. I didn't think I was actually going to get this line of pops, actually, to be honest with you. But the previous ones there, I thought looked really good. So if you want to see me do a review of this upcoming video, because if I do it right now, the video will be too long for everybody. So if you want to see me do an upcoming review of this one, I should take it out of the box. Then please do comment and let me know. Comment down below and let me know. 
And the last one here I think will be near and dear to a certain YouTuber's heart out there, a certain YouTuber who recently got married to his lovely Soda Queen, so congratulations guys. Awesome news, you got married there. I look forward to seeing your next video there. As now, a married couple there. Awesome news. I'm sure you all know who out there who I'm talking about there. Wonderful couple who lived down there in Massachusetts. I always have a problem saying that name. Massachusetts. So do I. Massachusetts. It almost sounds like you're Massachusetts, you know. I always have a problem saying that. I would rather say Jersey or New York. It's easier to say. And there's a wonderful couple there. I'm not make I, I, I say it as a joke there to make fun of where they live now there, but the wonderful couple, the aces couple right there. I look forward to watching them every single week there. Now they got married there and they posted a great wedding picture of themselves kiss, having their first kiss as a married couple there. Ah. On IG there. So he loves this character. Here's a coming here number 933. This is Ginger Bear Man as Captain America. Mm -hmm. Awesome look at Pop right there. I'm sure that good old John from Slop Shop Pops, John and Joanna, big shout out there from Toronto. Congratulations, guys. I'm sure John would love to see this pop right here. Because he's a big Captain, Captain America fan. And actually, when I saw this pop in the store, John, I thought of you, brother. I thought of you right there. Now, look at, look at the rest of the line here. If you look at the rest of the line, I think I only... I, I don't have the bottom two, I believe. I think it's only the bottom two in this line I'm missing. I think I have all the rest, all the rest of them. Well, you look at Captain America, which is the top left. And I believe I have all... My first one was the top middle which was him as uh, Iron Man, and I, I believe I have, him, I have him as Hulk, I have him as Captain Marvel, I have him as Black Panther, I have him as Thor, so I think the only ones I'm missing here are the bottom two, which I can't read because I don't have my reading glasses on there, but I believe those are the only two I'm missing right there, so eventually I'll get them there, so there's the first, there's the first look at those two hot pops, but not the first look pop there yet. So now, what I'm going to show you there now is, I, I went to the store yesterday, as you saw in the video, and I, I was actually able to pick up, actually able to pick up, which surprised, really surprised the heck out of me, is sodas. Yes, I got a little thirsty in the store. I was actually able to pick up sodas. Let me turn around so it's the right way around. I was actually able to pick up sodas. Thumbnail alert. They'll pick up sodas, two each for these sodas here, right here. So, without further ado, let's get right into them, shall we? I was surprised I was able to get these here because they had a soda drop, they had a pop drop on Thursday, last Thursday, which they got in silver Britney Spears. I got no question on my phone. They got in silver Britney Spears. They got in a bigger dozen of silver Britney Spears sold out in 10 minutes. Mm. The wonderful girl who, sells, who worked at Hot Topic there told me yesterday they sold out in 10 minutes there. I told her I gave a, I gave a, that sort of shout out there last Sunday, and she really appreciated it. The wonderful sales associate Samantha, who I gave a shout out to about last Sunday, wasn't there for she yesterday. There, they didn't say she got fired, so I didn't do anything wrong. But they said she just wasn't in yesterday. So, but I told him I gave him a shout out there, and he really appreciated it. And I even showed the sales girl with the colored hair, nice friendly sales girl. I didn't get her name though. I did show her the, the beginning clip of yes of last Sunday's video. So anyway, back to the story here for the subscribers and viewers. So this here is Super Chicken, and I believe this is a domestic. I'm searching the candy for an international sticker, the international sticker there, and I believe this is not an international. I don't see it anywhere here with an international there, so I believe this is a domestic here. So here we go, pop number one for Super Chicken. I don't remember where Super Chicken was from. I don't remember. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. And here we go, folks, with the first pop unveiling. Here we go. First sort of unveiling. Here we go. Oh! Would you believe the luck, ladies and gentlemen? You saw me. You saw me unveil a sealed soda. Would you believe the luck? Wow. The chase. My first one unveiled. I got the chase. Wow. The okay. first one is, will this be a perfect pull? Will this be a perfect pull, Maria? I don't know. I oh, know. Maria, by the way, is off camera because she's not feeling very well to be on, on, be on camera yet. So, Maria wants to hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Hopefully, maybe be back next week on camera. So, will this be a perfect pull here? I teased that, by, that on Instagram there, so we'll see. So, my first sort of unveiling here for today is Super Chicken. As a chase, and there he is. 
Super Second as to Chase. Awesome. Awesome right there. You saw me open the can with a sealed can. You saw me open it there. I don't buy uh, open cans. I don't buy them there. I, I, I always take a chance with them right there. So there is one. I'll leave them out right there. I'll put this back in the can for now. So that was the chase. That surprised the heck out of me. Chase. First off, I got a chase. First off. Wow. And this is not, these are not international. These are, these are American. You know, or North, North American, whatever. So here's another one here, sealed. As you can see, you can take the wrapper off it right there. Thank you, Hot Topic, for making sure nobody can open each cans. Toys R Us, take note. <laughs> That's how you do it, Toys R Us. You don't let people tamper with the cans and leave them on the shelf. Let me show you this. Another super chicken right here, as you can see here. Again, another domestic. Another domestic here. Here we go. By the way, folks, these ones here are really easy to open there. I see videos here, uh, people having trouble opening these lids here, and th these ones here are pretty easy to open here. So here we go. Seal bag. As you can see right there, seal bag. Now, Maria, what do you think the odds are? I think I'll get a common here, or I think I'll get another chase. I don't know. What do you think the odds are? I, I hopefully, so. hopefully I'll get a common here, because all I got chase, hopefully I'll get a common. So hopefully I'll get, you know, get a hashtag, a perfect pull, hopefully. Here we go. Here we go in three, two, one. Ah! Perfect pull. There we go, folks. Perfect pull. There's Super Chicken here. One in 5,800, as Jim would say. 5,800. So I got a perfect pull. One common, one chase. And who knows, my first four I would pull would be a chase. Awesome. I just made these lights rubbing off on me well over there. That shows you the power of Lady Luck. Maybe it's getting close to me. She hasn't even touched me and then her aura has come over to me. Her aura has come over here and, you know, give me Lady Luck there. Because how often do I do that? How often do I pull a, a chase first, first sword off? I didn't count one hand in my times I've done that. Like once. Just now. So, here we go again. Now, oftentimes, other YouTubers have found the bag has been a little hard to open. I think what happens here is, uh, the, the figure here is warm from assembly. And I think the hap what happens here is the figure gets put into the sleeping bag here, warm from assembly. And then the sleeping bag that is put into the black bag, and it's still warm. And then the black bag kind of melts a little bit to the sleeping bag. I think, I, I believe that's what happens. That's my only sense for it there, but I think that's what happens. Mm -hmm. So, this here is the common super chicken right there. Okay. So this is a common super chicken right there, and there is a common super chicken right there, and doesn't look much different. There's a chase right there, the chase right there. <laughs> Thumbnail, chase right there and a the common here, and doesn't look any different here. What is, what is the benefit of that? Let me see if I can put it up here to show everybody here. While I look at, while I look at, see what the chase pog says. There they are. The chase is right here, by the way. So the chase pog there says, the chase pog there says it is a glow. The chase pog there says it's a glow chase. Mm. It's, a, it's a glow chase. So that one there is the chase from right there. So it says it's a glow chase. Okay, well we don't have a black light there yet there, so there's the chase. And there's a common right there. Okay. So I need a moment here to clear all this clean off my desk, so I'll be right back. And welcome back everybody there. So what are you of that, of the glow of the common super chicken right there? I unfortunately I can't remember who super chicken is from there, so if you, can, if you know who super chicken is from, please comment there down below. And my last two sodas here is, is two Deadpools. And I believe that mm. the wonderful, the soda king himself, Jim Rock and Roll, another shameless plug, is all is a big is a big Deadpool fan right there. So he no doubt he he has opened this. No doubt, no doubt he is opening. I'm just checking the candy to see if it's international or not. Mm -hmm. Just checking the candy. Oh, by the way, if you want to know how much these cost up here in Canada, there you go, nineteen dollars and ninety cents each Canadian. Mm -hmm. So for Americans down there, if you're if you're getting insulted by having the prices raised up to fifteen dollars Canadian, fifteen dollars U.S. We, up here we pay 
on average between nineteen to twenty dollars each for a soda there. So so don't don't um, just be dismayed about having having paid fifteen dollars a soda. We pay more up here in Canada. Because I know recently Funko raised their prices, uh, especially for a wonderful American friends for sodas down there. Probably they probably realized that they had to pay more money for fuel to get over from overseas where they're made. Mm -hmm. uh, probably what happened. The cost of fuel nowadays is outstanding. Uh, it's out there. I know, quick little disclaimer here. Two, uh, I've seen at least two local gas stations here in Toronto are out of fuel. Out of gas. Two stations. The one downstairs close to us, saw last night. And another one I saw was during my job, during my work. So this here again is Deadpool right there. So without further ado, I will open Deadpool. Now, what are the odds I'm going to be pulling another Chase first one off? What are the odds? Well, the odds are 1 in 6, about, about you getting a Chase 1 in 6 anyway. So I, I only have 2 each there, so let's see. Let's see what happens here. But the odds are not good. I'll pull a Chase here. Not good. But that's our pod. Obviously, you can hear. Got pod. So here we go. Deadpool pop sort of number 1. Here we go. No, no, just a common. That's okay though. That's okay. Deadpool is common. One in twelve thousand five hundred, as Jim would say. Sorry, Jim, brother. If I'm borrowing your expression there for you. If you don't like it, please let me know. One, one, twelve thousand five hundred, right there. But for those of you who have not seen him, now I will. Up, I learned from other people's videos there that even if the pog says common. The figure might be Chase. I learned that from last week, from the International last week there, so I will still open up the bag for everybody here. Now, if you have a problem opening this bag, folks, simply just take your fingers, your fingertips, put it in the, uh, pull the bag tight, use your fingertips there and just pull on the plastic right there, it will open easily for you there. No need to worry about breaking your, about breaking your fingernails or anything like that, it, it, it opens easily. And then you can take them out of the, out of the black bag and uh, to a sleeping bag and open them easily there. So there is, oh yeah, there's Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. I believe it's Ryan Reynolds, isn't it? Yeah. Plays Deadpool. There's Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. Canadian, wonderful Canadian Ryan Reynolds, who's from Toronto, playing Deadpool there. I did see the first Deadpool movie right there, but it was okay, but I thought, no offense Ryan there, but I thought you were a little snarky as a character. I mean, I know you're supposed to be the anti-superhero, but I thought you were a little snarky myself. It was okay, but I thought, I thought Deadpool was kind of like Spider-Man's evil brother, or evil, <laughs> or evil twin, or whatever else. I don't know. It was okay there, but I wasn't really enamored with it there. Even though I should be supporting him because he he is uh, actor by a fellow Canadian. I should be supportive of him there, but I don't know. Doing his ugly sweater campaign. Oh yes, he uh, for those Ryan Reynolds fans out there, and for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Ryan Reynolds is doing another ugly, ugly sweater campaign to raise money for a wonderful, world-renowned hospital for sick kids. He's doing it right now there, and I will, I'll put a hashtag down below in the video there. Hospital for sick kids, world-renowned hospital, wonderful hospital there that helps out kids from around the world, not just here in Canada, not just here in Toronto, but around the world. He's doing his campaign again, the Ugly Crystal Sweater, to raise money for the hospital there. Because they always need to upgrade their equipment, their extended facilities, hire the ACES number one staff in the world, and all takes money. So we're doing that campaign there again. So it's ongoing there right now. So if anybody wants to know how they can contribute there, or maybe get maybe a sweater, because when you contribute to the sweater campaign there, it actually isn't a sweater. What you actually get here is a t-shirt. Looking like a sweater. That's what you actually get there if you donate some money to them there. So you go to hospitalforsickkids.com dot ca dot or I don't know. I'm not sure which it is there. Make sure I'm copy off the, on the spot here. But go to there and um, check it out there. If I if I can find it as I'm editing this video together, I'll put it down below in the description of this video there. Help promote the hospital for sick kids. Even though we don't have kids. And uh, we don't have anybody who has kids who went there. I know, we know, it's a good hospital there, well deserving of all your support. So, there's a, a shameless plug. I'm, a, I'm full of shameless plugs today, aren't I? <laughs> shameless plugs, wow. And anyway, so the video now is going 20 minutes right now. I haven't got to the last two there yet, so sorry about that, folks. I, I try to make a shorter video for, for everybody. Tomorrow's Mr. Will unveiling video will be much shorter, I guarantee you. I will do all the talking. Mm. I'll shut the bleep up for once. So there we go, another sealed soda right there. But this is my last soda unveiling for today. 
This again is a second Deadpool right here. Again, second Deadpool. I have I got the comment so far, so hopefully, hoping for a chase. A second Deadpool right here. Second Deadpool. Now, if this if the soda here is a chase, what I will do is I will put this soda, this soda, uh, this soda here. I'll put this one up as part of a giveaway. I don't need two of them there. Now, even though the cost of these sorts here is expensive there, I'm willing to give the sort away to one of our wonderful subscribers for free. Yes, I am. That's how we consider I am for all the wonderful subscribers out there. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to last sorter right now. Here we go. Last Deadpool sorter. Here we go. Hoping for a chase. No, no, no. I knew right away, because I saw a lot of white there, I knew right away it was not a common. Ah, it's okay though. You know what that means, folks? I'm going to have to go buy a couple more if they have, if they still have them. Yeah, that's what happened. So, I got one perfect pull in this video of the Super Checker right there, but okay, well, that's okay. Now, I better, I better, that's the last sort of figure right here, so remember when I stood up opening the bag here, Pull it tight, I'll, I'll bring it up close to the camera here. Pull it tight like this. Take your finger, pull it back tight. Pull it, put, use your finger there. Do a little stretchy with it there. Put it, before you know it there, you have a little hole like this. Hello. Pull it like you have a little hole like that, and then just pull the hole apart. There you go. Very easy peasy to do. Uh, even even uh, teenagers can do that, I'm sure. You know, I'm sure you have strong fingers, you can do that there. So there you go, because it really bothers me that when I see people use knives and scissors to open these bags here, because be safe, everyone. Be safe, please. Because you don't need to use a dagger this long to open a bag. Please be safe. Mm -hmm. We want you to be safe. We don't want to get we don't want to get cut fingers. So, anyways, that's my safety plug for today. So here we go. Here we go. Deadpool uh, soda number two, just like that. And yes, this, since this one is here, it's my second common. I will have this up for future giveaway there as a twenty dollar. You saw the price of it before. A twenty dollar soda I'll give away to one of our wonderful subscribers for free. Details to follow. So once I'll pause the camera here to clear my desk. Right back. And welcome back everybody. Okay, so for those of you who tuned in for the first look pop there, I will wait make you wait no longer here. This is back here from GameStop. GameStop right there. Even though the still says EB Games, the bag at the receipt or at GameStop. Now, this is the first look at a brand new pop. Just arrived here and I have not seen anybody else unveiled. I've unveiled one other pop from this line. I unveiled it recently from a movie that's currently in the theaters now and I hope the heck this movie is good. Because this is kind of like a remake movie of something we loved when we were younger. And uh, it's now in the theaters there now. So if you remember a uh, previous video I did there last week or a couple weeks ago there, where I had another first look pop. If you remember that line of pops, you'll know what this one is here. So without further ado, now I will now unveil this one now for everybody. This here is drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, where's that drum come from? <laughs> when I say drum roll, I mean play it, not roll it. <laughs> Okay. And how did you get in here anyway? The door's locked! Get out Anyways. Of here. Maybe it's a critic. You know, part of a rehab there is she's criticizing me still, so she must be feeling but she's still criticizing me. Here we go. Ow. Three, two, one, here we go. Coming in here at number nine twenty-five. Okay, she's back at the stage here now. Which one am I giving me a showing here? Coming in here at number nine twenty-five. Build this suspense a little longer here. It is da dum da dum 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 da dum da dum dum Tom Tom Phoebe from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Brand new pop from Ghostbusters Afterlife there. Currently in theaters now. This is pop number two of this line. If you watched the previous video here, you know that I already unveiled Munchers down right down there. And there's also the there's Munchers right there. I unveiled before. There's also Ecto 1 right there. Okay, okay there's Ecto 1. And then as well there is um Oh, I don't have my reading glasses on. There's a bunch of other things right there. I can't, I can't really re see right there. I have my reading glasses on there. But there you go. This is Phoebe, the first cast member, actual human cast member I've seen from this movie. I saw it in the story yesterday, and I hummed and hawed about it there. So that is Phoebe. First look at the Phoebe Pop from the new Ghostbusters. Awesome look at Pop right there. Hopefully the movie is good. Hopefully it is. 
Yeah. I have faith that it is uh, because the original one was good there. I do believe in the in the remake or whatever they want to call it. They do pay tribute to the original there by one of the characters do mentioning that other other a father or a grandfather was part of the original Ghostbusters. They do mention it. I see that before in the commercials. So, anyway, to finish out this video here, here is the wonderful hot pop right here. Got from the wonderful com company Pop in the Box. And for any subscribers out there who are thinking of ordering from them and they're wondering, Wow, well, do they use packing? Well, this is what they, this is what I would call, this is what it is called a single, uh, single pop from Pop in the Box. And as you can hear, as you can hear, for single pop, you buy from single pop from Pop in the Box, they probably don't use packing. I will show you here. They don't think that I am talking out of school here. Show you the box you're opening right here. I hate those boxes. And here we go. Open it right there. As you can see, opening up video there with I would be pre cut whatever else. There here is. I know what this one is here because I read the label. This here is a Game of Thrones pop. Awesome for my collection. I don't have this character yet. But as you saw there, no packing. It's so coming here number 91. This is Rob Stark number 91. An awesome pop right there. Awesome character that unfortunately didn't last too long on the show. Unfortunately, spoiler alert, but I was saddened to see how he met his demise. I won't say anything more than that if you, in case you haven't seen the movie, uh, show, the series here yet, but it's been so many years since Game of Thrones has been off the air that if you're a real Game of Thrones fan, you long know what happened to Rob Stark. You long know what happened to him there, and it was a real shock to all of us Game of Thrones fans, but there is Game of Thrones, Rob Stark right there. Now, uh, Pop and Box does often use packing for one single pop there, but if you order more than one pop, they, they probably will use packing there. So for those of you out there thinking of buying a pop and boxer, order more than one at a time, order two or more at a time, and they probably will use bubble wrap or some kind of packing. They just don't do it for what I call singles right there. So anyways here, that's the video for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope I haven't bored you. I hope you're still watching. If you're still watching, the hashtag for this particular ending shall be... Why should a hashtag here be there? That for people who are watching right to the end of the video, they, they, they can let me know on, on IG and I can send them something, Maria. What should a hashtag for today be? Mm -hmm. To prove that they watched right till the end of the video. I don't know. Okay, tell you what. Since I always say we're from Toronto, hashtag Toronto. If you see the end of the video there, put a hashtag Toronto, you send me hashtag Toronto. Send it to me on IG. Don't just say it down below. Don't comment down below in the video there. Anybody can copy you. Hashtag Toronto. DM me at, uh, at, uh, on IG at Toronto.Collector, hashtag Toronto, and uh, contact me on IG there, and that way I can get your address, and I can send you something for being so loyal you watch right to the end of the video. That's the hashtag for today, hashtag Toronto, contact me on IG, and let, that way I know that you watch right to the end of the video here, I'll, I'll send you something on, uh, through the mail, eventually, you'll, get, you'll probably get it by January. Because the way the mail is going right now, I mean, mail delivery is going to be slowing down because we're now in a week away from, from Christmas, whatever else. Can you believe that? A week away from Christmas? What the hell happened to November? Oh. It's, I don't know. It's, it's it's pff, pff, it's, pff, you know. Anyways, we thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it there. For those of you who uh, have said right to the very end, you know what the hashtag is. I have mentioned it before in the video there because I didn't want anybody just to hang in there for that and not watch the rest of it there. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video there. And please stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves out there. Uh, please come back uh, tomorrow for a special Monday mail video, which I will open another mystery mail box for you for your entertainment coming tomorrow. There, so Maria, final shout out. Hi, Mama. Hello, Mama, out there in Kingston. There, hello, all wonderful subscribers. Please enjoy the rest of your weekend and Thank take you. care.